Here is the Ragdoll Cat Board. Pros and Cons A helpful guide that you can look at. Wide and massive body, plump look. Here are 7 facts before looking at this breed in more depth. Number 1. They only have blue eyes for the authentic breed. Number 2. They like sitting on your lap. Fun fact. Number 3. Bigger than normal. Number 4. They watch and follow you everywhere. Number 5. His life expectancy is 15 years on average. Its maximum weight, around 20 pounds or 9 kilograms, reached around age 4. And number 7. Sweet little voice, but sometimes chatterbox. Now make sure to like and subscribe to our channel and please leave a comment below. Thank you. Now for the origins. The origins of the ragdoll cat is still a source of controversy to this day. Why? Well, the two origins of the chosen breed are not very clear. A lady by the name of Ann Baker, a cat breeder from Riverside, California, USA, apparently crossbreed a stray domestic long-haired white female with another long-haired male cat, like the Burman sacred cat. But who knows? Then again, like I mentioned, it is still a controversial subject. In 1975, the Dayton couple, Danny and Laura, began breeding the currently favored ragdoll. This breed was accepted by major cat organization, like the Federation International Felines and the Cat Fanciers Association. The description. At the kitten's birth, their fur color is often pale, but with time it changes to a darker color. The ragdoll eye color is a magnificent piercing blue color. This is a specific trait of this breed. We even sometimes distinguish that some of them have one blue eye and the other would be blind. This breed is known to be a larger size than a common cat. They are even sometimes characterized to be giant. The female ragdoll can weigh about 14-15 pounds on average and for male they go up to 20 pounds on average. Some of them even weigh as much as 30 pounds. All of this weight is all about genetics. Large bones, big chest, and that is sometimes three times larger than other cats. They also have strong muscular legs and their silhouette is rectangular in appearance. The ragdoll coat is fluffy and easy to care for. And they are recognizable with their darker color at the ear, face, and tail. They do not have an undercoat and they do not shed as much as other cat breeds that do have an undercoat. An observation about cats with no undercoat is that a lot of owners who are allergic to cats in general have no problem when they are with a ragdoll cat. It's not 100% guaranteed that this cat is hypoallergic, but some owners claim to be allergic to cats in general except with this breed. But be advised, this is not the case for everyone. In the same idea, people are either allergic to a cat's undercoat or to their saliva. Another fact about cats with no undercoat is they need less grooming than other long-haired breeds. Behavior The ragdoll is a very friendly breed we characterize him as a good family pet. They get along very well with other cats. The ragdoll is generally calm and lying on its back. His favorite sport. He would probably win the gold in the Olympics. Ha ha ha, he wins again. He seeks a lot of attention from his master, sometimes more and more. He can even follow him from room to room, almost instinctively. When the doors are closed, he doesn't like it. The ragdoll has this fascination with water in all of its forms. 
Just take running water for example. The sound of it intrigues and attracts him a lot. Even doing the dishes, need a helper, <laughs> or taking a bath. He might even join you at certain times. Those are very interesting activities for him. Since they don't really have a fighting instinct, it is not recommended to leave him outdoors unintended. Training! Okay, probably forget that one. This type of cat reacts very well to positive reinforcement. Therefore, training him for his litter box or for his scratching post will not be a very big task. You can even have fun and teach him other tricks. Hmm, not that one either. Since the ragdoll is quite smart, you can teach him stuff like high five trick. You must be patient and definitely use the treats. When they do some of the training correctly, then reward them. As already said, it will take patience and also consistency. Repetition is going to be the key. If you are a good teacher with his qualities, you can be successful. Training tip number one. Say his name and ask for the order and give your treat. Training tip number two. If it's too long, your cat will lose interest. I said lose interest. As we said before, repetition, this is the key, with a short time frame of training. Like with a dog. Food! Not being super active, this cat usually prefers rolling around and lying on its back and just relaxing in this position. It should be noted, since this breed is less active than the average, it has the possibility of being overweight. Giving them a low-carb diet may be a good choice. The quality of the food you will decide to give him will depend on your own personal philosophy. There is no requirement initially, but if your cat ever gets disease such as diabetes or kidney stones, you will need to put your cat on a special diet. A special eating formula helps maintain skin and coat health through a propriety skin barrier complex. Fatty acids support healthy bones, heart and also, very important, joints. Do you think that only the most animal loving will give their cats specialized food? Well, think again. This type of food is very popular with ragdoll owners. Health. In general, this kind of breed has a low risk of having health problems, other than the basic recommendations like going to the vet one to two times yearly for his wellness check and to avoid dental problems. Perform cleaning to reduce future risk. Cost. If you decide to purchase this kind of breed, 400 to 1500 can be the cost, and this will vary depending on the origin and certain characteristics. Always ask a lot of questions to the seller before the purchase. Adoption. It's not easy to find your own cat of this breed, especially the ones you really want. Not the one on the picture! You really have to take your time to choose the right one. They are very often waiting list. You have to follow up with the breeder until you reach your goal. The ragdoll cat is like a good companion dog. He is gentle, affectionate with children. He is an excellent first cat to get hold of. It's not complicated and it's often what members of a small family are looking for. If you already have a ragdoll at home, please comment below a funny anecdote and we look forward to reading you. Subscribe to our channel to be notified of our next videos on cats.